Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you. I adore you. I worship you because you are good. Thank you for this privilege of sharing your word. Use me as a vessel to be a blessing to your people. I pray against the spirit of destruction that your word may come forth with the clarity to be a blessing to your people. And, and as you use me, Lord, I pray that I may decrease as you increase and that you may bless your people and uh, meet them at the very point of their needs according to their level order of understanding. Oh God, in Jesus' name, amen and amen. Welcome to One Word TV. My name is Pastor Florence Minor. Welcoming you to yet another time of Celebrate Your Moment with Joy, which is a, pro a production of One Word Digital Media. I'm broadcasting live all the way from Minnesota, USA. The title of my message will be, When you are protected by the Lord, be confident. I'm going to enter into a running mode here. I have this bottle and it's transparent. I had to remove the sticker because I wanted to demonstrate something here. Inside this bottle, sorry, it's may be making some noise. Inside this bottle, I've put some stuff and I try to make sure that they are in, uh, they are um, of colors that you can see. I have a bucket there. I have earrings of different kinds. I love earrings, you can tell. And... Uh, you can see, I can see them, but I can't reach unless I tear off or I break it. And um, so those things inside there could be representing you and myself when we trust in the Lord. And my verses of reference today will be from the book of 1 Corinthians 10, 13. And I'm going to read 2 Thessalonians 3, 3. I will read in Jesus' name of 1 Corinthians 10, 13. This is what it says. No temptation has overtaken you except such as is common to man. But God is faithful, who will not allow you to be tempted beyond what you are able, but with the temptation will also make the way of escape that you may be able to bear it. Second Thessalonians 3 verse 3 says, But the Lord is faithful, who will establish you, who will establish you and guide you from the evil one. Now, my brother, my sister, whatever you could be going through, whatever I could be going through, it is common. Somebody else has gone through it into the, in the entire world. If it is sickness, I have been sick. You've been sick, somebody else has been sick. If it is divorce, you have gone through divorce, somebody else has gone through divorce in the first, and others will go through divorce, but God forbid, because it is not his will. Uh, also, I want to tell you that people have been hated. People have been discriminated against because of their gender, because of their color, because of their ethnicity, you name it all. If it is uh, oh, poverty, people have been poor. Or oh, if it is challenge, people have been challenged. If it is uh, barrenness, people have been barren. And the, the things will continue to be like that. But I want to, uh, you to take yourself. Like one of those people who are suffering and are going through that. And because we are guarded by the power of God, the enemy will try to reach us through those things, but he cannot be able to come to us. But there, what, there is one thing that you have to know. You have to hide yourself in the blood of Jesus. This bottle, it has a, a, a cover. If I open it up and... If it is, in actual fact, when God gave me this revelation that was a long time ago, God was reminding me of the issues of the hen back home. Not the one that, not the chicken ones that are laid here, but the, you know, the, the, the what are they called? The natural ones that feed out there. They are not in cruise somewhere. They they feed and they feed, they feed, they feed. And you know, if you have put corn or something that is edible by the hen or the, the chicken, it will come. Those chickens will come as long as those stuff are exposed. Here you are, my brother, my sister. You are like inside the bottle. If you are covered by the blood of Jesus, the enemy will try to, to come to you, attack you. You are going to feel the impact, the noise, but it's not going to reach you. That is why when we get sick like any other person, but there is something inside us. There is peace that God provides because you are covered. You are well covered. The Lord has covered you. How I pray that today you can desire that you have that coverage of the Lord that even though the enemy may try he is not gonna get you there will be some noise as you can hear the enemy may come to strike with rock ah. The, but you're, you're going to feel the impact, but it's not going to reach your heart because you're right hidden there. You are hidden. You can imagine you are surrounded by the blood of Jesus. 
Death strikes you in the family. You will cry, yes, because you're in this world, because you have felt the impact. That's why I'm blessing that you hear the noise. There is the impact. You'll feel the shaking, but your heart will be stable. But then you have to know that it is you who have chosen to be hidden. If I remove this one, there are people who get to, who are who remain in the coverage of the Lord, but at some time they get out. When you get out, you are prone to be a, attacked by the enemy. You get out of the presence of God by being pray, prayerlessness, and then you are attacked by immorality. There you go. You become. You, then we hear about infidelity in our marriages because you have come out of the coverage. You must remain, my brother, my sister, covered all the at all times, covered with the prayer, covered with the word of God, covered with serving the Lord. How about when people enter into corruption because they used to cover themselves but they expose themselves and they become like any other people so they don't see like corruption is any, in, 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 anything of, they can regard as sin. So this day, how I pray that you shall decide to be covered at all times. Remember you can uncover yourself by not praying, by not being consistent in the Lord because when the shaking come oh there can be some rudeness and then you're gonna be exposed how I pray at the beginning of this week maybe that's why God so busy it seems like I'll be switching to Monday but I'm not decided that yet yesterday I did not share I was so busy but God is good I felt it is my responsibility from the Lord not that anybody tells me to do so uh, to to share on Monday and I think it's coming out well because it's the beginning of the week so as you head out no desire to be covered my God my that's my prayer that God may cover me that whatever challenge I'm gonna meet during the day as I go to work that I may be covered just like those stuff inside this bottle Oh, the blood of Jesus will cover you. How I pray that you may desire that the blood of Jesus may cover you. The brother speaks as better thing. There is power in the blood of Jesus. And that's why even when there are temptation, they are not going to overtake you. But at that particular time, God will give you a way of escape by giving you peace, by giving you joy, by reminding you. That fast that you laid by reminding you that someone that you had yesterday if you went to church. If you did not go how I pray that you shall desire that the coming week that God may make a way uh, for you to go to the house of the Lord. May the Lord bless you and may we all desire to be covered by the Lord Jesus. Remember uh, 2 Thessalonians 3, 3. But the Lord is faithful who will establish you and guard you from the evil one let us pray father in the name of jesus thank you as we start off this week help us to desire to be covered by thee O oh god that whatever situation we shall be in O oh lord whatever circumstances we go through we shall know that we are at a good cover blessed be your holy name in jesus name amen and amen my brother my sister you are there you have never trusted the lord or maybe you have exposed yourself to the attacks of the enemy you can come back again because our god is a god of a second chance you are there you want to establish your your relationship with the Lord. It is like you have been out there. You want to enter into the presence of the coverage of the blood of Jesus and the Lord will bless you. If you are in that category, you want to pray this prayer after me. Our Lord Jesus, I come before you. I've been out they are exposed to the attacks of the enemy. But now, Lord, I desire, I purpose to come to thee. Write my name in the book of life, O oh Lord. Protect me with your blood and give me a desire to be uh, always protected, Lord. By, as I take an initiative to be leading you, or to be praying and to be serving you as opportunities come. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. If you have prayed that prayer, you've been transformed. You become a new creature. The old is gone and the new has come. Next step, look for a church nearby by where you live that you can call your home church when you go there desire to be a, a person who can call that uh, a church home church and behave like you're in that church do what you can do i have my home church and i'm happy yesterday it was cold i was greeting you know and i had to prepare myself when you go there are challenges also or there are things that will be needed to for you to serve desire to pay the cost it's worth it even if it's in the cold season i know maybe some people did not go to church yesterday because they said it was cold but i want to challenge you today it's cold you're going to head off out to school or to work why not to the house of god 
Mm. Next Sunday is going to be the first Sunday of the month of December. Desire that you'll be in the house of the Lord. I love you and God loves you the most. Until next time, I'm your presenter, Pastor Florence Mine. I'll celebrate your moment with joy. You can continue to listen to this message and other messages by different anointed servants of God by dialing 563-999-3909. You can also search One Word Miracle Radio that way. Using your smartphone, you can download the app One Word Digital Media. Oh, you'll be blessed 24 7 366 days a year free of charge when you're blessed be a blessing to other people by sharing i would also encourage you to subscribe to our channel celebrate your moment with joy if you have not done so if you have done so god bless you continue praying for this ministry we need prayer than ever before oh last but not least december 8th that will be the second saturday of the month celebrate your moment with joy is hosting a meeting entitled total transformation based on the life of Saul who was transformed by the Lord from being a murderer to the greatest apostle based on the books of Acts of the Apostles. You are welcome if you are in Minnesota, if you are far you can pray for us if God wants you know speak to you that you come over you are welcome God bless you thank you